we're gonna be um moving on so you know kind of moving out of just the basic port scanning and identifying services to uh, fighting vulnerabilities in those services and uh, eventually exploiting those services so for that reason uh, we're going to kind of cover vulnerability identification and the fundamentals of exploitation which is the next topic together and then you will do a series of labs after that uh, some of these labs are pretty long um, because you actually get into the exploitation part and we want to make sure that you have uh, plenty of time to do that. So we're going to start off with uh, vulnerability identification. You know, also known as vulnerability assessments. So a vulnerability assessment is the use of automated vulnerability scanning tools to identify gaps in the security posture. This is oftentimes mistaken for and so as ethical hacking, right? Now, when you do a vulnerability assessment uh, as part of an ethical hack, we want to make sure to use all of the reconnaissance information that we've gathered. And keep in mind, a vulnerability assessment only tests for vulnerabilities that could exist. It doesn't conclusively verify that they exist. Vulnerability scanners can be used to look for specific vulnerabilities on host systems, and there are many free and commercial tools available to do this. For example, we have Tenable Nessus, which is probably the most well-known vulnerability scanner. There's also Nexpose from the people that um, created Metasploit. There is OpenVAS, and then there's Saint. Um, now, keep in mind, these scanners are very loud, noisy, easily detectable, and most were designed to be used internally, you know, by system admins and security administrators. So stealth was not really a consideration when they were, you know, in their very DNA when they were being created. So with vulnerability testing, uh, testing for vulnerabilities using automated tools is an efficient way to determine existing holes and system patch level. Manual verification can be necessary for eliminating false positives. And what you get out of vulnerability testing is service and OS identification information, patch level, uh, some vulnerabilities, and a lot of false positives. Uh, some vulnerability reports are mostly false positive, and your expertise comes in in being able to, you know, isolate out the false positives um, and just show the, the actual vulnerabilities. Now, what we're looking at here is the Windows version of Nessus. Uh, it's very easy to use. It's powerful, has some powerful threading capabilities and can scan a lot of devices in parallel, which is one of the first technologies that made Nessus really uh, popular. 